Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our Playwright TypeScript series. In this video, we are going to talk about one very important feature of Playwright that running the example test in the UI mode. So whatever the test cases that you have written, you can run it in the UI mode for a better developer experience with the time travel debugging feature. This feature is an amazingly developed and then you can use this feature to debug your code you can watch more you can check the code and you can check each and every element against your code and you don't need to switch to the editor again and again you don't need to open your chrome dev tools and then uh, you don't need to press alt tab alt tab and shifting between browser and the code again and again so with this feature you can do a lot of debugging and a lot of debugging activities you can check the source code logs and everything you can check it here so I'll do one thing. I'll show you practically that what you just need to do, execute this command npx playwright test hyphen hyphen UI. This is what the command that you have to supply. And this is the option that you have to supply here. So I'll do one thing. I'll just simply copy this and then uh, go back to my Visual Studio code. I have uh, two test sample files are available. Let's see, one is example spec.ts and one is uh, demo to do. In demo to do, I have many test cases are written. You can see a lot of uh, tests are written. Some before each and after each is also written. And then test describe and test blocks are having number of test cases. And here in this expect.ts, only three test cases are there. You can see test number one, test number two, and uh, test number three. And uh, what I want from the config.ts, I'll go there. And then I want, let's see, first example expect.ts, I want to run it from which directory? From this directory, test directory. So dot forward slash mean go to your root directory and go to the test folder root directory means this is your project or folder directory and then under test folder whatever the number of files are available execute them so this file is available example is spec.ts i want to run it okay so what i'll do i'm just going to run it here and make sure that okay in the config.ts please check that how many browsers that you are configuring here so we have chromium firefox in the webkit Okay, I'm going to execute this. Please launch Playwright test in the UI mode. And uh, when you launch it, you will see that uh, this is the Playwright test window will be opened here. Now this window is having a lot of good features. Let me just increase the font a little bit here. Here you can see that example spec.ts will be visible here. And just like in Cypress also, we have uh, this feature here also you can check it. Example is spec.ts has title get a started link in the check search. These are the three test cases that we are having it. Same thing you can check it here. So tomorrow, if you have added, let's see some more test cases or you making any updates over here, the same thing will be updated here as well. You don't need to open this command again and again. So let's see, um, I'll open this particular filter and it says that you have three options, Chromium, Firefox in the webkit on which browser you want to run. And let's say I really want to select the Chromium browser and I want to run a specific test. So let's see, has title test, I want to run it. And then I click on it. So when I click on it, you can see that uh, the Playwright is getting opened in this particular browser. And it will give you the steps here, whatever the commands that you have written before and after also that open the browser, browser context and the page context, launch the URL and check this uh locator is there or not something like this let's see they have given here and uh if you really want to click on this open in the vs mode you can just check it whatever the existing code available for this has title you can click on it it will automatically um navigate to the visual studio code here so this is also a nice thing that they have given and then during this execution you if you really want to check the source here that also will be visible source means the source code of this execution of your code it's clearly visible here. So this is the test highlight. Can you see it here? And it says that you go to the playwright.dev and then check that this particular uh, title is there or not, right? And then let's say I really want to run this get a started link also. So let's run it now, this as well, get a started link. So you can see that execution is happening and uh, it's checking the installation and uh, checking that installation uh, click on this get started and check the installation header is there or not and that's it i really want to check that what is the uh, source code for that so let's go to the source and then you can see here that get the started link and when you simple mouse over here this one see it is highlighting first this one highlighting can you see here the red color dot 
it means we are going to talk about this name, which is get started. This is a kind of button or link or whatever. So get started is highlighted here. Then I'm saying expected to be visible that header is there or not. So header is also visible here like this in a particular box. So this is very easy for me to check and debug my code. If any tomorrow, any sync issue or locator is not working or locator is not available. So I can quickly check that which locator is not available here like this. So this is an amazing feature that is uh, you can use it directly here in this uh, screen uh, or in this uh, UI mode. Then during this, let's say execution, how many network calls are there? You can check the network calls, get call, post, put and delete in the background. So you don't need to go to the Chrome Dev Tools and open the network tab and then no need to do that. That you can easily do it. Any kind of console logs, if are available or errors are there, you can check it. So this is, these are the basic logs. It will tell expected to be visible the element within 5,000 milliseconds. Looking for this, waiting for the element header name is equal to installation and then locator resolved to h1 installation this promise is successfully retrieved and then uh, resolved and then it's visible here and any kind of a call the timeline and parameters and return value visible here and the source also whatever the source code the actual test script that you have written that also will be visible here and then after that uh, you can just simply go to the locator and you can check the basic locators or some playwright locators or XPath or anything, if you really want to write, you can check it here as well. So for example, let's see for this particular docs, I really want to write an XPath. So let's see, assume that, um, okay, let's see, this is a link and I'm writing double slash A. So see, it's giving me on the page how many links are available with double slash A. And then I'm saying that uh, the text is equal to, let's see, a docs here. So it's exactly highlighting that element, docs and locator, a text is equal to docs, which is clearly visible over here. You can, I hope you can see it here. So locator CSS or whatever the text that you want to write, you can just check the playwright locator as well from here. Okay. If you really want to, let's see, run on Firefox or WebKit or everything. So you can execute everything together. So three test cases are running on three browsers. It means total nine test cases will be executed. So let's run them together. So you can see zero out of nine has title. Chrome, Firefox, WebKit, <clears throat> again, get the started link, three browsers, Chrome, Firefox, WebKit, check search also having three browsers here. So once all the execution is uh, are done, then uh, complete execution is done. We can check the logs and we can check where exactly the problem or any kind of error or anything is there. Then we can just simply check it here as well. If you really want to stop, you can stop it. Uh, execution also, you can stop it from here. So you can see that everything is done and uh, all the test cases are getting executed properly. You can check the specific uh, browser for check search, Chromium, what happened there. For Firefox, what happened there. You can check the errors, console, network calls, or any kind of source code if you really want to check. That also you can check it here. From the locator, you can inspect on Firefox directly. That also we can check it here. In fact, it's giving you the before and after if you have written anything. So that action before, let's see for this particular action. So this is the action. And before this action, so this line is called action. Before this, what happened? Before this, actually, the playwright.dev opened. And after this, what happened? After this, we are checking, let's see, the do search is there or not. So you can check for every action before and after event also, you can check it there. Some metadata information about the browser engine, and you can see Firefox, platform Darwin, user agent Mozilla Firefox, viewport, number of pages, count, actions, and everything, the basic metadata information also. Uh, you can have the clear picture here. This these this data sometime will be very helpful, you know, to debug the code and uh, to see what is happening uh, and what exactly happened with the specific execution. So this is amazingly great that you can check it here, and uh, <clears throat> you can just filter it out on the basis of passed. So you can see all the test cases got passed. You can filter it out on the basis of failed. So nothing is visible because nothing got failed here, and the skip also you can check it here. You can just type that, okay, I'm looking for only for uh, a title. So title related test cases also you can directly check here. So you just need to type it and then you can check it here. If you have any specific tag uh, that you're maintaining, that you're maintaining in your uh, script like sanity or regression on the basis of tag also, you can uh, filter it out. Now I'll do one thing. I quickly go to my uh, Visual Studio code and then I'll deliberately making one test failure. So let's say I'm looking for installation one one here. And the moment I save it, immediately it will be reflected here as well. 
So I'll do one thing. I just want to execute on Chromium. And uh, here you can see it got started. And one test will be failed. Which one? Uh, this one, get started link should be failed here. So see, get started link is still running and it got failed here. Error is one, which is shown here. And you can see the error here that uh, expected to be visible installation one one. We waited for the 500 milliseconds and to be visible, but uh, we found installation. We were looking for installation one one B, but we could not find here. It says expected visible, but we received the hidden from the uh, from the promise and that's why the log is coming like that. So it's clearly visible that what happened with this particular test. Other than that, two other test cases got passed here. You can see the complete timeline with the time also. Each and every screen, a screenshot also will be visible here. And you can just check what happened during five seconds, six seconds, seven seconds. You can just mouse over and then the respective screen will be visible over here as well. Okay, so this is an amazing feature, guys, that you can use it. There are like you, you can reload it also, and then you can just night mode also. You can enable if you want to do that, and then uh, you can just check the output what happened in the detailed log system. Also, you can check it here. This is also like amazingly great that we you must have seen sometime you run it from the new man with the postman. Similar kind of logs will be visible here, like this. So that also you can check the output logs that we do it in uh, GitLab or maybe. Uh, Jenkins so that log also you can just check it here like this and then you can just check this entire UI mode that is giving a lot of information to us and then um, you can inspect the locator source call network calls and everything and along with the screenshot metadata actions everything you can just check it here so this is an amazing feature provided by playwright and this feature we will be using in future as well so that we will uh, debug the code properly and then check what is happening with our test cases. So it will be easy for me to fix the code as soon as possible. So please try this, run this command npx playwright test hyphen hyphen UI. People might ask you this question at time of interview also that to run the UI mode and to run playwright in the UI mode, which command we have to use, make sure npx playwright test is the directory name and whatever the file name along with that directory you can pass and hyphen hyphen UI means in the UI mode, I want to run. This feature is also called time travel debugging. So don't get confused. What do you mean by time travel debugging? They're talking about time travel debugging means in the UI mode. This is what they are talking about. I hope this video is clear. Just try that. Let me know in case of any issues. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.